Hello and welcome to Game of Thrones, a Telltale video game series. I am RMP792, and sorry I haven't had a new Let's Play series for a while. I've just, it's weird, you know, in the past I've had kind of one big event at a time that's really slowed me up. Last couple of weeks I've just had like 12 things come up at once, which has just not given me any chance to record anything at all. And for that I apologise, but pick this up in the Steam sale and uh, I will do my level best to get all six episodes done you know in time for upload and we'll see how that goes and just yeah um, it's a telltale series I've heard generally good things about it be advised if you've not seen Game of Thrones you might be a bit lost that's what I've heard I personally have seen the show up until you know the current point which is the end of season three, season four? No, season four, season five? Whatever the most recent season was. Can't remember if it was four or five, but uh, either way. And there may be spoilers, because I'm not sure when in the timeline this is set. And yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, incidentally, if you wish to comment on anything I say uh, in the video, please do feel free. I do read every comment. But it would be very helpful for me if you would actually tag the point in the video which I say the thing that you're responding to, because I record my Let's Play footage a week in advance and will probably forget what I said. Uh, with that out the way, yeah, let's just get on with this. Say one, play. The Northerners will never forget. Yeah, that's pretty true. Because, let's face it, the Northerners are, you know, <laughs> the Seven Kingdoms are blatantly Britain. That's alright, most good fantasy universes use us as a basis. <sighs> yes, thank you, Telltale. We know the standard stuff. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark, and in the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses, and they seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves and the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. So their uh, symbol is actually a tree with a sword in it. I can respect that. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. Ah, so free it. by the women. Yes, this is that. think Jamie's he done it himself escaped. the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. <laughs> yeah, always keep swords clean of blood, otherwise it rusts them. Knackers them. Complete waste. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Takes a lot more than just now that, once. That's a proper sword. <laughs> I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. WD-40 is amazing friend. for swords. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. <laughs> I had a hand in it, you know. Why would anybody want to be on that bloody throne? What's capturing him? He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. <laughs> Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> Shh! Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right. It's your job. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. 
His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> well, this the is Game of Thrones, so this is almost certainly going to end very badly. Okay, they're still hailing robs. This is before the end of season three. Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Aye! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna do that. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, of what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. Very true. How shall I reward your loyalty? Traditionally, squires get knighted. You? you served me well. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. Because I say, but Squire now, was basically us. expected to follow a knight around, tonight. do what he wanted, I wouldn't want the other squires but to watch to and learn. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, now, being a squire lord. wasn't a guarantee you. that you'd end up becoming a knight, but it was a step along the path. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? <laughs> Come on, can I get up to you? Yeah. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Not anymore, you don't. Those are some honking big wine jokes. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Yep. It's my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. Uh, in this See, universe? Lucky. Yeah. No yeah, they really are. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy yep. for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my mm. uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Yeah, I was starting to wonder that. right over there. Ah, ah, that's where we are. Take yes, incidentally, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, I wouldn't be at all surprised if you this game contains drunk, you share. a hell of a lot of violence and probably some sexual content, so mood. we'll see. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Yeah, they've got crossbows and swords, and a lot of swords. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. <coughs> Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? 
What's wrong is everything's about to go to hell in a handbasket. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagging already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Yep. Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Uh, okay. Sorry, Bowen, you're a bit we of a prick. The others. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Yep. In the grand scheme of things, <sighs> meh. <laughs> Red wedding was nasty. <laughs> Incidentally, I will spend about half this thing criticizing the sword technique, so be wary of that. I guess hammer the key too. No, no, go for the shield. Oh dear, is that the uh, bragging guy? Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Yep, pretty much what shields are designed for. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah. <laughs> Preferably without dying this time. Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! <laughs> okay, I actually managed to click on him this time. Ah, thank you. Look out! That's not good. Oh, safety. Yeah. I need to be a hammer to keep keeping up. And lost a sheep. Darn. That to me seems like a reasonable point to end this first part, so I will say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next.